Hi there, it's Jessica. Welcome to my channel and this week's plan with me in my Erin Condren Life Planner. So we are going to be pre-planning for the first full week of February, which is going to be February the 6th through the 12th here. Let me go ahead and remove my little paper clips here. I will link these shops down below if you're interested. So I love planning for holidays and we only have one more week here before the actual week of Valentine's Day. So, of course, I'm going to do a Valentine's theme kit here in this week, and I wanted to do one here as well. Um, I was looking through all the kits that I actually ended up grabbing that could work for a Valentine's theme, and I just kept coming back to the same kit over and over again, and so I guess it's a sign, and I'm going to use it. I have this shop, The Crafty Banana, and she was so sweet to send this to me, and it's all on glossy. It looks like great quality. I'm excited to use it. We have these matching glitter headers here. These full boxes are really unique. I have not seen any other shop use anything like this. I also personally have not used anything like this. It's very clean with white backgrounds and we just kind of have watercolor with reds and pinks. So I think it's going to be really cool. I also think it's very monochromatic with just the reds and the pinks throughout this kit. Really neat brush strokes that create an ombre effect. And then we have some deco pieces, some half boxes, a functional sheet with sidebar stickers, circular icons, checklist flags, date covers, and weekend banner. And then we have some headers and littles. And then last but not least is the glossy washi sheet. So I always like to start with the bottom washi to get the theme started. And we do have a lot of this like ombre brush stroke going on and I think I would like to kind of match up the best that I can the direction of this ombre. So if I'm going to put down these checklists here we go red to pink and then I'd probably want to go pink to red. So I want to do the same with my bottom washi so I'm going to need to probably turn it in this direction and place it down so it goes red to pink, pink to red. And I hope that made sense, but I'm sure you'll get the gist of it when we start placing down the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these ones here. All right, so now I would like to start with my decorative full boxes. I'm definitely going to take this simple little quote that just says love for my thankful thought. And then we actually have a double box here, which I'll go ahead and use for my weekend and I'm gonna put it right here in the center row but I'm actually gonna kind of stagger the rest of the boxes from the bottom and middle row just to kind of disperse the colors as much as possible since these are very like light very airy it's very very pretty so let's start kind of picking and choosing here So anyways, guys, I just want to, I guess, vent for a moment. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I have had a very crazy week this past week. It was just, everything just seemed to be very thrown off, like my whole schedule. Um, I guess it started on Monday evening when we were eating dinner. My son, he broke his tooth. Well, what happened was... Um, he had a cap, a full cap on one of his baby molars that was put on when he was like, I don't know, three years old. He said he had a little, they said he had a little cavity there. And so they said they would cap it up and then eventually it would fall out. Well, I guess the cap had been getting loose and he never said anything about it. So while he was eating dinner, the whole thing just kind of popped off and it uh, chipped the tooth underneath and it kind of seemed like a gory mess and uh, freaked everybody out. We got the, um, you know, the bleeding to stop and so the next day I had to wake up and start calling a billion dentists to see where I could get him in and that's really hard 
to find somebody who's willing to take them at like last moment like that. So I actually had my own doctor's appointment I had to go to on that Monday. So then it made it even more tricky because my husband had to kind of ask for time off from work so that he could take my son into his dental appointment. And yeah, so that was really unexpected. And then on Tuesday, I got a call from my doctor. I was supposed to have an appointment um, about a week and a half from now. And he told me that he is totally booked up. Something had come up and they had to basically push me to Wednesday and I had no choice. If I couldn't come in Wednesday, then I was going to have to wait another uh, almost a month. So I had to basically cancel everything I had planned for my Wednesday and, you know, go down to the doctor's office for myself. If you haven't noticed, I'm going to start putting down my checklist and I'm going to keep those all along the top row. So yeah, I went ahead and went to that appointment. I was very behind on all my cleaning. I was struggling to get out my uh, midweek video for YouTube. I really, really wanted to have my notes page and monthly view plan with me. I do those both all in one video. Um, I wanted to have that out before um, February 1st or at least on February 1st. Oh, it didn't work out. Like I was up all Thursday night. Um, late, late in the evening. I barely slept because I was trying to get that edited so that it would at least go up by uh, Friday, which is actually today. And um, now today is Friday. My husband always comes home early on Fridays. And this weekend we are celebrating his birthday. So um, he came home even earlier than expected, and oh, I did not. I have been, I hadn't even gotten this plan with me done. He's been a great sport. He is just kind of entertaining himself on the computer right now while I get this done. And then I am going to have to race to edit this because I need to like, in the middle of the night, decorate the house. That's what I like to do. I like to decorate the house with birthday decorations. Um, and I still have not gone to pick up the cake. And I haven't even wrapped the gifts. So I might be pulling an all-nighter again. Especially because I need to have this edited. So that I don't really interrupt his like birthday activities through the weekend. So anyways, I don't want to rant or anything like that. I just have had a very busy, unexpected uh, week with a bunch of things popping up that threw my whole schedule off. So um, I'm hoping that I'll have a little bit more of a relaxed and easygoing week next week. Okay, so now that we have this much done, I do want to kind of get the main structure done. So let's go ahead and start working on the sidebar here. I'm going to go grab everything that we're going to need. All right, so on this functional sheet that I have here, we do have two weekly full boxes that I could use. We also have additional headers here that I could choose from. There was no individual daily habit tracker, so I think I might want to go ahead and pull one in. I have been really wanting to use these. They are gold foiled habit trackers by the shop Rose Color Days. And I just love to pull in foil anytime I can. So, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Above my habit tracker, put maybe just reminder, and then I'll go ahead and write in this little area of the box. Alrighty, and we'll use these boxes here. 
let's go ahead and start with the pink shade and I want to make that one this week which is one of my favorites because it's just a very general term and then next we have the red box and what do I want to put in there out of the headers we have I could do hmm you know what I really like this one get it done I think that's fun well I don't know was it last week nope it wasn't last week this week uh, because this is the weekend that we are celebrating my husband's uh, birthday I allowed him to choose the kits. These uh, were two kits that I combined, and I just thought it turned out really cute, and it was kind of fun having him choose. But his uh, birthday actually lands here on this, uh, the 7th, which, so I think, you know, this little romantic love kit works fine. So I'm choosing this one here that says Get It Done, because I guess it wasn't last week, it must have been the week before. I put a cleaning list in the sidebar and that just kind of helped me out because on Monday I know that I have another doctor's appointment that I have to go to. Well, it's a dentist appointment. It's time for another cleaning and checkup. It's that time. So Monday's my big cleaning day. So I've actually have something scheduled on that day. It kind of, I don't know throws me off a little bit just because it takes some, some of my time away to do other things. So I want to give myself a list, which I'm not getting my sidebar very straight today. There we go. Um, if I have this list here, it it's nice because then I could just kind of mark next to those things and make sure I get everything done throughout the week. We just have a little bit of space down here at the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to use maybe some of the deco pieces to kind of fill it up. Maybe let's try a little stiletto shoe. And what else can we use? I think this is all super cute. Maybe this necklace is kind of unique. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And I might use some of this deco to decorate the bottom washi. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and see how everything looks. All right, so I guess the next things that I need to do are get down my headers. And there's also date covers in this kit. All right, so I definitely decided I will be using the glitter headers. And I think I am going to use the darkest red the middle shade and the lightest pink. We also have date covers here that I need to put down as well and then she does include the two little flags that I could put in the corners so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that down and I'll be right back with you guys. Um, let's see as far as colors go I might just start with darkest to lightest so we'll put this one up at the top I really like the quality of her glossy sticker paper. It's really nice to work with. Um, also, there are littles provided in this kit. And if you're familiar with me and my plan with me's, I do like to put down a little each day to track my meals. So I will probably also do that. Now this is obviously going to be where my to-do list is and from this point down is considered like my today section where I will pre-plan and then use my planner throughout the week, add information where I could fit it or need to. Um, I think with these little meals, I think I'm going to try to also do the whole little um, ombre thing, start from the darkest red, move to pinks, and go out to red again.
I really like the way this is turning out so far with all the reds and pinks and the glitter. It definitely has a Valentine's vibe. And I'm very excited about Valentine's Day. How about you guys? Do you have any plans? Um, I am going to put down a few more stickers here. I need to put the numbers in my date covers. I am going to use these gold foiled ones by the shop Rose Color Days. And then also by Rose Color Days, I do have some gold foiled Valentine's Day countdowns. So... I'm going to go ahead and just start with these numbers here. I'm actually stealing it off of this sheet. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I have I have quite a few. And I could always go back and order more. That's just how I feel about it. I'm going to use what I have if I feel I need it. So, yeah, I would love to know what your guys' Valentine's plans are, if you have any. Do you have a significant other? Are you kind of anti-Valentine's? I hear that a lot for people who are just not into it or they're single. Hey, I don't blame you. <laughs> I've had so many Valentines with my husband, Shane. Uh, we started dating when I was 16, so I just, I really honestly can't believe how many we've had. <laughs> uh, we, we definitely don't go all crazy like we used to when we were younger, but I love the holiday. What's not to like about celebrating love, even if it's not with a significant other? It could just be with friends or family. I'm also really excited to uh, help my son out because he he's in second grade, so I get to have fun with like putting valentines together for his class. So we're going to put together the goodie bags here pretty soon. I can't believe I'm almost done with this countdown sheet here. We have two days till Valentine's on this Sunday here. I really always enjoy her little countdowns. They look so classy and they always fit so nicely in every kit. Okay, so now I actually think I have the whole basic structure down. One thing I could go ahead and do is take the weekend banner and place that in for Saturday and Sunday. I'm just going to go ahead and let it kind of overlap the glitter headers to give me as much space as possible for this section. Alright, and I guess let's go ahead and start pre-planning out my week. Alright, so first things first is I am going to take a coffee cup, also by the shop, the Crafty Banana. And these are little coffee cups that have my name in it. So I love using those. It's always fun when something has your name on it. So I'm taking these little red cups to match with the red color scheme. And I'm going to place it up next to Monday as a symbol of energy and motivation to say hello to Monday. It is the start of a new week. Monday is always my cleaning day. I do actually have a doctor's appointment in the afternoon, so I'm going to put the most important thing down, and that is to do laundry. So I have a laundry day sticker. This is by Little Miss Papery, and I'm going to put that in. That's the most important thing to get done. And then to mark my doctor's appointment, or I keep saying doctor's appointment, it's a dental appointment. <laughs> my dental appointment is on Monday. I want to take these labels. They're in gold foil by Rose Colored Days. Um, let's go ahead and take this one here. Just kind of center that in. And I could write down that it's a dentist appointment and at what time. And then by the shop Planner Frenzy, I want to take this little cute pink little bow paper clip as like kind of a reminder, you know. A little bow is like a little reminder. 
And plus, I thought it would just be really pretty to use. And for now, that is all I'm going to put down in my Monday, so let's move on to Tuesday. I want to do my nails on Tuesday and refreshen up, especially after a day of like kind of cleaning. I might need to do some more cleaning on Tuesday if I wasn't able to get everything I need to done. Um, so I'll wait till after cleaning's done and then I'll freshen up my nails. And I want to do my nails in like a shade of red for Valentine's. So I'm going to take this little gold foiled icon little nail polish bottle by the shop sesavy.com and place it in my little checklist and then I am going to write next to that. And then here on the 7th, this is actually my husband's official birthday. So I want to mark it even though we're kind of doing the big celebration the weekend before, which today is Friday, so that is tomorrow, this Saturday, next Saturday, this Saturday. It'll be the past for you guys. What am I talking about? Anyways, you get the point. But I'm going to mark down his actual birthday. And uh, we'll probably still maybe have some cake at home or something. So this little sticker here that says happy birthday and it's bordered in some gold glitter is by the shop Aria's Daydream. And I'm just going to put that in and leave the rest of the space open because I'm actually not really sure what else might happen on my Tuesday so I'm just going to leave the space open for me to use it when that day comes. On Wednesday I know that I'm going to want to work on videos for YouTube to get out my midweek video so I'll either be filming or working on editing so I'm going to use these gold glitter little laptops by Panda Bird Designs and I'll pick one in a pink shade and what I really like about these is that I could write the title of what I film in the laptop because it's a nice large size so I'm gonna kind of center that in but I did want to put one thing above it I'm gonna use a gold foiled edit sticker by the shop pretty paper crazy because I might get to start filming on Tuesday so most likely editing will be what I'll be working on I think I'll go ahead and mark that I want to go to the P.O. box by putting it in my to-do section. So I'm going to take this little gold foiled flag by sesavy.com and then maybe I'll just go ahead and put the icon in there as well. These are by the shop Planning World and they are the ones she came out for February. She came out with two versions. This is the one with the glitter background. And we do have a little box, and maybe if I ask kindly, I could probably get my hubby to do it on his way home from work. So I'm just going to place that in here since I kind of lost room down in this area. Moving on down to Thursday, we are going to be paid on this Friday, so the day before. I always do my budget and my meal plan, so I am set and prepared before the money hits the bank account. So I'm going to take these little flags once again and put one down for each of those tasks. And I think I'll use the Planning World icons. and just have these kind of point towards them. Um, I think I'm going to go with the next lightest shade of pink kind of working in this little ombre. So I'll take, let's do a dollar symbol to mark the budget. And then we need a little grocery cart to mark the meal planning. So Friday is TGIF. We love our Fridays. Hubby Shane comes home early on Fridays and we like to start our weekend. So I want to take this gold foiled TGIF sticker by the shop Pretty Paper Crazy. And then the other thing I want to mark is that it is our payday. So I'm going to take some of these labels here by Shop Jessica Hearts, and they are just super gorgeous. I'm going to take this shade of pink here, 
and put it in to mark that it is a payday. Gotta love a payday. I'm also going to go ahead and take a gold foiled dollar symbol to just kind of layer in the label. So moving on to the weekend now. Saturday is just a time to hang out with the family, go do something, or chill together inside. So I wanted to take a glitter half box just to make the weekend kind of exciting. So I want to put that in. And then I'm going to grab out a little gold foiled heart just to make it a little bit more fun and pop. These are by Simply Watercolor Co. And I thought they were really neat because they kind of have a watercolor texture, kind of like the boxes in the washi do. So I just kind of got to pick the shade that I am feeling. To be honest, I kind of think I want to go a little bit lighter. I'm just going to pop that in the corner. And we could write in what we decided to do. So now let's move on to Sunday. I need to do my social media. That's what I like to track on my Sunday. Sundays tend to be a lazy day or a continuation of going out with the family. So I want to put a half box in. And then I decided I would pick a pretty little planner girl for my icon. And this time I decided to go with this gorgeous girl by the Fox and Pip. I have had these girls for so long and I think they are absolutely stunning. And I don't know why. I have not added one in yet, but I thought she would just be a gorgeous little touch to this kit. So I'm going to grab her, and the cool thing about her is you could actually color in her dress. I've seen people do that. It looks really neat. I think I'll have her off on this side. Otherwise, I'm going to, her feet will cover up my little meal icon there. So we'll have her over here. Here's our planning girl. And then I'm going to take some asterisks that are provided in the kit to mark down the three things I like to remember. So on Sunday, when my Erin Condren plan with me goes live, I like to hop on and start answering the YouTube comments. So let's see. I think I'll put them down the center and then abbreviate everything off on the left. So YouTube, I like to post to my Facebook page. And last but not least is post to Instagram. Alrighty, I actually have all of my pre-planning done. So the last thing that I would like to do is take my pen gems and I did refill this pen with the Pilot High Tech C in the 0.4 black gel ink and I'm just gonna write in the few places that I can as of now and then I'll use my planner throughout the week and post updates to Instagram I'm not sure I mean these deco pieces are adorable but I also really like the whole kind of ombre vibe the way it looks right now. I might lightly add in a few maybe at the corners or something so I'm gonna get all of that down really quickly. Alright, so I think this is all the deco pieces that I'm going to put down for now. I'm definitely going to hold on to them, and if I feel like adding in some more throughout the week as I use my planner, I'll go ahead and do that. I actually really love the way that it turned out, and I sure hope you enjoyed planning with me as well. If so, give this video a big thumbs up. That'll make my day. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I would love to see you again. I'm going to pop up a couple videos in the corners that I I've recently done feel free to click them and watch them if you would like also down below in the description box I'll be listing all of the shops I use today as well as any of the coupon codes I have to share with you guys and until next time I want to wish you a beautiful day and happy planning bye bye friends